Hi, I'm Scott Marciel. I'm the United States Ambassador for ASEAN Affairs here visiting Manila. Uh, I wanted to talk to you for just a few minutes today about the U.S. relationship with ASEAN and the important role that the Philippines plays in that. Uh, the U.S. has a strong interest and has for, for decades had a very strong interest in Southeast Asia and the success of the countries of Southeast Asia. And ASEAN plays uh, an incredibly important role in promoting success and promoting integration among all the countries of Southeast Asia. So we've been working very closely with all of the countries in ASEAN as well as with the ASEAN Secretariat itself to try to support ASEAN's ambitious goals of creating a single market by 2015 and building a sense of political and social community among all the nations. Again, because it's very much in our interest for this great effort to succeed. Now, the Philippines is what we call our country coordinator. Each of the, uh, ASEAN has 10 member nations. It has 10 dialogue partners, countries like the United States, Korea, Japan, and China. So each ASEAN member is assigned one dialogue partner uh, with it, which it works for a two year period. And as of this past summer, the Philippines is the dialogue partner for the United States. And what that means in practice is that our interactions with ASEAN go mostly through our Philippine friends. So, for example, ahead of next week's historic leaders meeting between President Obama and the 10 leaders of the ASEAN nations, we're working with Philippine Foreign Ministry to uh, lay out all the, the uh, direction for the meeting, come up with an agenda, work on a joint statement. So the Philippines is, again, our point of interaction for that. And what we expect is, uh, again, it'll be a historic meeting. We expect the president and the leaders of the ASEAN nations to talk about economics, economic cooperation, probably to talk about natural disasters. There's been so many disasters here, including, of course, the terrible flooding from the typhoons that have hit the Philippines recently. Talk about how we can work together to create better early warning networks and react more quickly and more effectively to such disasters. Probably talk about climate change, talk about problems in the region and opportunities in the region. So we're really looking forward to the two years that we will be working with the Philippines to improve our relationship with ASEAN and support ASEAN's own efforts. Thank you.